turn around here. <laughs> Hi, Killer Clan. So we're in Washington, D.C., and we're at Bub and Pops here. I'm here with Molly Schuyler and Andrew Poole back here hanging out. And like I said, we're in Washington, D.C., and we're Bub and Pops. And we're here to try the Little Petey Challenge. Now, this challenge has been completed by many, many, many eaters, uh, but it's a big sub-challenge sandwich with some potato chips. I've never had potato chips in a challenge, so... I'm excited about it. So it brought the little peaties out to us. Not so little, it's massive. Massive. Looks like homemade potato chips around it, which is a nice twist from the, all the fries that we get in challenges. So I'm looking forward to this one. It's got different types of meats on it, lettuce, healthy vegetables, Randall. It even has some chicken tenders on it. Andy's <laughs> got hers. Molly's got hers. We're ready to go. 15 minute time limit. I don't know what the fastest time anybody else has ever done this, but I know Darren Breida did it in about five and a half minutes. I think we're actually just going to enjoy this challenge. I don't, I don't know if we're speeding through it, but Molly Schuyler gave me a juice yeah. box with zero sugar in it to help keep the calories down. Juice box. So I'm going to enjoy juice that. Box. There's actually fried eggs on this too, and that looks delicious. So, right here. Um, without further ado, the Little Petey Sandwich Challenge. If they're ready. It's I'm hot. ready. Andy's ready. It's also 99 degrees outside. But guess what? Three, two, one. Let's eat the Little Petey. What's up guys? Welcome to another video. We are in Washington DC and we were at Bub and Pops and we were there to take on the Little Petey Challenge. Now they had to modify this because some of the restaurant ingredients were no longer available but this was a delicious challenge. Had some homemade kettle chips and the chicken tenders and the fried eggs on top of it were delicious. Now this does carry a very short time limit of 15 minutes so you have to enjoy it but you have to enjoy it quick. And I said before that Darren Breeden did this challenge, and I believe he did it in uh, 10 minutes, actually, with five minutes to spare. But it is a delicious challenge. It was really hot out in D.C., but if you get a chance, stop by Bub and Pops, try on the Little Petey, or just enjoy one of their menu items. Great place. Definitely worth the trip into the city. And I really hope you guys enjoy the video. They trusted you guys with knives. I am. No. <laughs> it's really good, actually. Yeah, it is real good. See, but you're glad I brought water over. Mm-hmm. One time I ate 10 pounds of brick cheese. That sounds awful. That does sound awful. It was not delicious after the first eight ounces. <laughs> oh. Everything sandwich. Everything in our kitchen. The kitchen sink sandwich. There's some things that used to be on those ones.
thing I would have looked for is a piece of bacon. <clears throat> bacon makes everything better. about three or four minutes. Well, because we're outside, yeah. we, we have limited water, and it's like, it's, it's not, you know, eh. and I don't want to slop out here, you know. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Pool, <clears throat> you have to eat your sticks. No, I'm kidding. I'll do it. Okay, one minute, 30 seconds to spare. Woo! Ah, that was a good sandwich. That yeah, was, was a good sandwich. All right, Killer Clan, so that's the little PD challenge here. <clears throat> Bubba and Pops. It's delicious. If you're ever in Washington, D.C., make sure you stop by Bubba and Pops. Have yourself. A little peaty or maybe just something off the menu. It's a big sandwich. Not a lot of time to eat it in. The owner, top notch. Food, top notch. Delicious. Check out Andy's channel. Check out Molly's channel. 
Take it easy.